Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I am accompanied by my lovely boyfriend Daniel as we are heading off to Alton Tower Scarefest today. I'm really excited. It's currently 8.30. We're literally just in the car about to set off. The reason why we're setting off like super early is so we can get there as literally as soon as the park opens since we have a lot in store for you today. We're actually going to be doing four of the scare mazes that are at Alton Towers. I think we're also going to be doing um, a few rides in the dark which is going to be really exciting. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. How are you feeling about this? Are you excited? I'm nervous. I'm very <laughs> nervous. Like, I've done, I know we've done it once before, but... Yeah, like, um, I've done Scarefest for probably two, three years now. Like, I took you for the first time last year, but I didn't mm. vlog it. But if you guys have actually <clears> been on my channel for a while, you'll remember I did vlog a Scarefest um, two years ago when I first started my channel. That vlog is a bit of a mess, but it is great memories. So if you do want to go watch that, I guess, Scarefest pre-COVID, um, I'll link it above. The weather's looking pretty miserable right now, so I'm hoping it does pick up, but they have forecasted it. Forecasted it? Forecasted it. But the weather forecast does say it's going to be rainy from like 8 to 1, which isn't great. Either way, though, we are literally super excited to get there. We're like properly in the Halloween mood. Um... <laughs> I just always read the comments. <laughs> um, also, I've just realised that this is the first time on camera that my new hair is kind of being like debuted. As Dan is kindly showing you. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be lilac, but since I've had it for a few weeks, it's slowly going kind of pastel pink and kind of strawberry blonde in some parts. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments. But other than that, if you do enjoy today's vlog, please give this video a massive like. And if you're new and you want to stick around, go click that subscribe button right now. We are literally so close to a thousand subscribers. And once we hit that, we're going to be doing a very exciting giveaway. So you don't want to miss out. But other than that, I guess we better get on the road. Um, let's get to Scarefest. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You look really scary. Do my best, guys. I'm literally getting a scare before I even leave the car. Time to get my scare on. Let's go. Oh, so strange. Okay, so we've just arrived. The weather has literally been so miserable already, so I'm hoping it like calms down because doing Smiler and all the other rides in this grisly, rainy environment is not nice. We've just parked up and um we're just gonna go and walk down to the front gate and scan our tickets and i'll update you when we get in the park Where you're putting your feet because I had a sneeze a while back and my eye popped down, so okay. it could be anywhere around here. If you come across it, just hand it in the last property. Okay, it's like Deadly Dave wants his eye back. All right, I'll look oh, out. Boy, have a horrible day. Thank you. <laughs> so, the first ride of the day was Wicker Man, one of Alton Tower's most popular rides, which we managed to get first row seats on, which was a great way to start Scarefest. Okay, so we've just got off the Wicker Man. Um, we had to queue for quite a bit, but we ended up getting front row, which was really good, and first ride of the day. And what did you think of that? 
I need to change of underwear. <laughs> no, I don't. That was really good. One of the best ones here. Isn't no, it? yeah, I love Wonder Woman. I feel like it never gets old, no matter how like how many times you do it. And I've probably done it about a hundred times now. If anyone's wondering, um, they've recently actually reinstalled the story bit at the start that you watch before you do the ride, where it kind of explains a little bit of the story behind the Wicker Man. And that felt a bit claustrophobic because they literally did like cram us in, which wasn't the best, but... Yeah, David um, Tennant doing speaking. I'm pretty sure. No, he did. You know, he did sure not. It it's not David Tennant doing the speaking. Yeah. Right now, we're off to 13, aren't we, I think? Yeah. Um, and we're going to look at the queues there, and then if the queues are too big, we're going to go check out David Walliams. Did you say and then. Luke, does I say Luke Williams? I said David Williams. I thought it was Luke. I thought you said Luke Williams. Did I? We're gonna go check out David Williams. Well, David Williams, if I did say that. We've got the scare mazes at 4 pm, so we're gonna do a few rides beforehand. And then, yeah, I'm not looking forward to them in some respects. I'm like freaking it. I'm really nervous. Even though we've done it before many times. Like it's very good for kids, but like it was just a bit meh, really. Yeah, it was kind of stop start. Yeah, there was at one point it kind of was like you weren't sure if it wasn't working because we were stuck there for ages waiting to go on to the next bit, which was a bit of a shame. So yeah. hopefully they can improve that. It's currently three. 3.10 isn't it? Yeah, currently kind of like 3 o'clock or something. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do next, but we've got our scare mazes soon at 4, so we're probably just going to like dot around the park. Maybe try not to get in any like too big a queue, trying to prevent what happened to us at 13. God, my feet killed from standing in that queue for so long. Um, so yeah, I'll we'll get back to you in um, a bit then. <laughs> After the Gangster Granny ride, we decided to take a walk to the other side of the park and grab some fries and a drink before our four o'clock scare mazes. <laughs> Ripped to the river that ship went. <laughs> <laughs> the first scare maze of the day was Darkest Depths, which said recently upped the age rating to 15 plus. Oh my god, I'm actually really nervous. Even though like this one wasn't actually that bad before. I'm gassed. But they've really? they've upped the age rating this year for Darkest Depths, so uh, apparently that means more scare actors and stuff. So I'm really like I'm a massive chicken when it comes to scare mazes, so I'm definitely screaming. You? You're not gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm not ready. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Bring on the scares. Bring on the scare actors. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I felt my tear come down my eye. <laughs> How'd you find that then? Very nice. To be fair, I expected it to be worse than it was because of the fact that they said that like they'd up the age rating and um, that they said there'd be more scare actors, but I thought there wasn't actually that many in there. It was really funny like holding onto your coat because I could just feel whenever you got scared. Right, so we're actually heading off to the um, Toxic Junkyard Scare Maze, so that's going to be the second one out of four. This one wasn't really great in past years because um, it, half of it's kind of in the day. So you can kind of see the scare actors coming towards you, so it kind of like ruins the fantasy. And it's still quite light outside, so I feel like it's going to be like that again this year. But apparently they've changed a bit of it and some of it's inside and a bit more claustrophobic. So hopefully this year's a bit better because I know out of the four scare mazes, the Toxic Junkyard one tends to not be the best. You excited? <laughs> I'm so excited? I feel like we're um, 
we're getting worse and worse as we go along because we're going to leave like the two scariest ones to the end, which is great. Wait, is that the, uh... <laughs> That's the attic and Alton Towers, no, Altonville Mine Tours, I think. How did you find that one? <laughs> <It's scary. laughs> Chase yeah, they've definitely bammed that one up. That was a lot better than last time. I don't like that stuff. You don't like that stuff? Well, we've got an even scarier one next. <laughs> you feel like you're gonna cry? <laughs> it's stressful, isn't it? It's definitely gotten a lot better, that one. A lot better. Right, so we've got Dan's favourite scare maze coming up now, the attic. Are we doing that one now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we're doing the attic and then we're doing Oldsonville to end with, because that's definitely the scariest one. Are you excited? <laughs> Too fair, the yeah, the attic one is definitely very scary. If you don't like ghosts and like creepy dolls and like kind of the woman in black vibes, I don't recommend doing the attic. Like, there's a devil at the end as well, which is quite scary. Not to spoil, but... I thought they've taken that out. I don't know. Some people said they haven't seen the devil, so it'll be interesting to see whether he's there. I, I kind of hope so, just to scare Dan. <laughs> Just keep the bowler hat guy in there. The bowler hat guy? Who's the bowler hat guy? The guy with the top hat. Oh, at the start? Yeah. He's fine. Though. Yeah. I could take that guy on. Well, I guess we'll see you guys on the other side. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Calling that a bit sweet, <laughs> You look like you're gonna cry. I'm definitely gonna cry. Right. <laughs> you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. <laughs> that was so funny. That should be illegal. <laughs> should be illegal. I told you to look up for the demon at the end. He walks right in my face. Yeah, he got super close. Yeah, he did. Maze of the day, how are you feeling? Yeah. I'm gonna need a massive lie down. This one's supposed to be the scariest one, I think. Last time we did it, I reckoned it was like the scariest one. Oh, why can't you just say things like this one's not so bad? <laughs> this one's got rainbows and unicorns in. <laughs> Fine. You will be fine. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> so excited. I didn't pressure you to do nothing. <laughs> I may have agreed to it. Jeez. Oh yeah, that one was intense. Definitely. Like to everyone who's watching this, if you're coming to Alton Towers and you're doing a scare maze, I really recommend doing the Altonville one. That one honestly is so intense. Like the claustrophobia is unreal and like the sound, like the sensory overload is just so intense that you don't even realise they're coming. I thought and, they were oh. gonna split everyone up. Yeah. I yeah. I was like, please don't. Yeah, because at the start they say um, you might be split up, so we were like, oh my god, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're like gonna collapse. 
<laughs> Just think it's over now though. <laughs> We've made it. I don't know if I can do this again. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. Woo. I do if you heard, but those screams weren't on. Okay. Well, sure. Some guy on. This is just sure, sure, yeah. Me, I was just like, bring it on. Sure. As it was getting darker, we decided to get on Galactica. After Galactica, we also did Nemesis in the Dark, which was super intense as usual, before heading to X Sector, where I watched Dan go on Oblivion, as I'm not really great with big vertical drops. We then headed back to Wickerman for our last ride of Scarefest 2021. Hey guys, we're back to the car now and that's basically Scarefest over. I'm actually so knackered, what about you Dan? Time to. <laughs> a lot of walking. I literally can't wait to get in and sleep. Um, I'm just, just so tired, but we've literally had an amazing day. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with us. So if you have, please give this video a massive like. And if you're new here and you want to stick around, go click that subscribe button right now. Ugh, what? Oh my god, my tongue. Your tongue's very blue. <laughs> My tongue is so blue. See you next week for more content. Bye!